welcome back to another video so today is the start of getting the audi tt mark 3 that is not the mark 1 wrapped so i'm here at the unit with levi i've got his courtesy car we're currently inside i've stripped the car a little bit i didn't have my camera with me yesterday to record it some of it's going to be noticeably gone and when, when i obviously go in there the plan today we're going to get a few bits off front bumper some other bits and then when i come back next weekend we'll carry on the video we'll basically start wrapping it and i need to clay bar it and all that good stuff yeah we'll get straight into it now i'll go in talk about what i've done and then we'll crack on with getting the car stripped we're inside the unit now and i apologize for any noise uh, we've got a uh, heated on obviously for settling the wrap and all that but here is the mark 3 tt and as you can see i've already stripped down the doors and uh, the wing mirrors are off so the doors here and the wind mirrors are gone this is the mirror here i've literally had to strip it down to bare nothing to get it off it's the most ridiculous thing i've had to do oh, i've had to like unpin the plugs to get it through the hole there the wire oh it's just been an absolute nightmare so anyway it's done they were the two bits i was worried about the most getting the doors off and the mirrors but now they are both off i can't get onto the easier stuff so we'll talk about a few things i need to get off the first thing I'm going to be tackling getting off is the front bumper. Obviously, it's going to have to come off. All these grills are going to have to come off as well. Badges are going to have to come off. I've got gloss black ones to go on. Obviously, these badges will have to come off. I'm going to get this off because it's getting sprayed gloss black and the roof's going gloss black, but I'm not giving away the colour just yet. You'll see that in a minute. Obviously, all these badges have got to come off. Plates have got to come off. I think the lights might have to come out. Rear bumper will stay on, I'm guessing. So, actually, there's not too much to take off. I took the main two biggest parts off but yeah maybe stuff like might have to take this off maybe i don't know because we're doing inside the this door shuts as well they're all getting done inside there yeah so as you can see we've got quite a lot of work to go we've got quite a lot of work to go ahead levi's over there smashing out another customer's van and then next weekend we're gonna he's gonna be tackling mine which is gonna be good to watch and i can't wait to show you the color we've picked i'll literally smack you on a time lapse now and i'll start the front bumper to start off obviously we get the bonnet up get cozy because it's gonna be here a while uh, first things first, we get the three bolts holding the arch line into the bumper and then there's one bolt going up into the wing and that's literally the whole, all that holds on the sides. Do the other side exactly the same, making sure the wheels are obviously turned because it makes it a lot easier. Coming to the front end, there's a little lever on the bonnet latch, pull that off and then pull the top cover off. And then there's two bolts, one on each side of the top of the grill literally just undo them and then you'll be able to pull the front end off and I'm pretty sure there was a wire in there as well to unplug. Coming underneath, three bolts on either side and then there's six bolts in the middle. They're all pretty easy, if you go under you will notice them all. It's just a bit of a faff on the floor. Once I've undone them it's pretty much ready to pull the bumper off. There is a plug on the bottom you just see me undo. Put some uh, cardboard down because obviously it's right off scratch the bumper. Now it's already battered. Again, just double checking underneath because I'm pretty sure I missed three bolts. I pull the bumper off as far as I can and then obviously it's held on just by the headlight washer pipe. I suggest getting a tub for this because as soon as you pull it off, all the fluid starts pouring out of it and it will make a mess everywhere. So yeah, just use a little tub and collect it all as you see me do there. Once that's done, we move the bumper out of the way. So guys, the uh, front bumper is now off, it was actually very easy to get it off. So we've got the aerial off which is here, this is the biggest nightmare. How angry was I Levi? Like that for you mate. <laughs> That's the hardest thing to get off this car, it was harder than getting the doors off. I have creased my headline in a little bit I will admit but I don't give a fuck. So guys we're back here in the unit, it's another weekend from the last time you saw me talking about the TT. So what I've done today is I've removed the badges. What I need to do next is move the rear lights obviously so we can get nice nice uh, tuck-ins in the back here. But yeah we're pretty much there for stripping. Once I've finished stripping I will be clay barring the whole car because obviously preparation is key. Me and Abs are clay barring together look at this. That's nice isn't it? Yeah. It's probably the most rom romantic thing I've ever done. Because it involves the car. Come on Abs. You gotta do your chores. Do I? Yeah. 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 You get that clay barb. Get your rings off on that on my paint. This isn't touching your paint. Alright, don't be don't be touching your paint. I see any scratches, you're in trouble. So guys, we are wrapping Higgins's TT. We are wrapping it in Avery, so we must clean it in Avery. The colour we are wrapping it in is this one here, which is called Fun Purple, believe it or not. So yeah, 
Higgins is excited with this one. Gonna look good when it's done. We're after a 10 10. Gels, he wraps, a man of dedication. He will literally bend his body in two to get the perfect cut. So I've been tasked with cleaning, obviously, the mud balls, as Levi calls it. He loves it. He loves my cars because they're always full of mud balls. So I'm gonna clean all this now, and then obviously, he's gonna be tackling this rear quarter. You're doing it in one piece, Levi. Always. Yes. Happy with our soul, Levi. Beautiful. <laughs> Right Levi, what are you on to now? Door return. Door return, all inside here, yeah? This back door. So this is before, and then we'll cut to after. Levi's here now prepping for the one piece panel. He's actually doing all this with the shirt in one piece, which is pretty crazy. Um, so I took off the seal around the door so we can get a nice all the way up in there basically. Uh, we've got this little uh, latch thing off here. Pulled the S-line thing off, wherever that is. Yeah, the S-line panel. So that's off. As you can see, the door's gone. And uh, yeah, and the piece in there, there's like a little plastic piece that sits in there. And it all, oh, oh, two of the cups are broken. <laughs> But luckily I have a box of them so we can put them back. So if anyone wants to know, that literally just pulls off. That's screwed on, self-explanatory. And this thing is 3M taped on. So obviously we'll be 3M taping it back on. No tiger seal on this car. <laughs> yeah, I mean. There's some morale bow. Look boys, I'm on the tune. That'll do, fucking hell. Alright boys, I've got trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Three TT, and I don't want to give it away too much now. But I think now I'm going to save it for the end because I'm also getting new wheels for the Mark Three TT Tuesday. So we're gonna have the wrap done. We'll have the new wheels put on the TT, and it's just gonna transform it completely. So I will reveal the whole wrap and the wheels at the end, and it's gonna look mint. Door handles off. What there is inside this little hole here. There's like a black thing on the left-hand side, but be very careful because they can snap. So you got to be gentle with it. The handle will come back out nicely. So I've got the door back on it's lined up perfect which i'm pretty happy about all the rubbers are back in i managed to get them in they were quite a pain in the ass so i guess you see we've wrapped the front end the multi-color front end no creases no crinkles looking perfect what a job 
Yes guys, so the car is now finished. It's literally looking amazing. We've got a new set of wheels. It's just looking 10 out of 10. Levi has absolutely smashed it. It's done the shuts, returns, hinges. Like who does hinges inside the engine bay is done except for under the bonnet. You will not, you will struggle to find, find gray on this except for where you'd expect to see it obviously. Uh, so go ahead now, spin the camera around and I'll show you his masterpiece. Yes guys, so as you can see, Levi has absolutely smashed the wrap out the park. He has literally done everything. Hinges, boot shuts, returns, door, air, you name it, he's wrapped it. The whole thing is covered. And I would say this is 100%, not to brag Levi up anymore because he, he loves it, but I reckon this is probably one of the best wraps in the UK. Like no no other company goes to this length. Or if, they, or if you know anyone, then obviously drop it in the comment, but I highly doubt it. So the colour that was chosen by Levi for my Mark III TT was Avery Dennison Fun Purple and the results are amazing i'm actually happy he chose this i actually well i didn't let him i had no choice he chose this color for me but yeah as you can see the color is immaculate it's just it's a shame that the sun's not out because this color really does pop in the sun so yes as, there it is there's the car done big thank you to levi at lc wraps he has put blood sweat and tears into wrapping this car and a lot of shouting at me for holding the wrap wrong but it's okay so i will smash links to his youtube and instagram in the comments obviously check him out check out his youtube and please subscribe and if you want your car rapping like this, do not contact me. And we'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.